Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to evaluate the monthly payment for a bank loan that you wish to take. So let's say you plan to borrow $100,000 in a bank loan for a home mortgage that you wish to repay over a 10 year period at an annual interest rate of say 8%. So our plan is to compute the monthly payments that you need to make. To do that, we first need to compute the monthly interest rate, which is just the annual interest rate divided by 12. So it's a 0.67%. The monthly interest rates can be computed by using the PMT function. The rate is a monthly interest rate. The NPER refers to the number of periods over which you wish to repay the loan, which is 10 years times 12, because the repayment is monthly you have to compute the number of monthly periods in your loan repayment interval which is 10 years times 12. the present value is the amount that you're borrowing which is a hundred thousand dollars and the future value is zero because you plan to repay the entire amount of the loan so that at the end of the 10 years you will have zero dollars outstanding or you'll have zero dollars owed to the bank and the type of payment is here i want to say end of the period because uh, typically you repay the loan at the end of each month and press enter and so this is your monthly payment one thousand two hundred and thirteen dollars and twenty eight cents it's helpful to compute the cash flow for each month and we'll see how to do this uh, i want to just pull down this uh, ribbon here and uh, first i want to click on the view tab and freeze these panes actually before i do that let me place my cursor in the cell c9 and now it's going to freeze it uh, over here and over here so let me keep it in c9 and freeze panes freeze panes and now if i scroll down wherever i scroll you can see the numbers are changing here but the month and the cash flow will still be visible so that's the advantage of freezing the panes now month zero is today and today you're getting a hundred thousand dollars in cash so that's your inflow of cash and now you want to say from month one two three four and so on in all those months you're going to be paying this amount so instead of just typing in one two three four and so on what we will do is instead we'll just say um, we'll place a cursor on cell b10 we'll go to home and click on this button here that says fill and click on this and click on the series button here the series dialog box opens and within that you can specify that you want to fill the series in columns and you want to say the stop value is so the stop value should be 10 years times 12 which is 120 so you want to fill in the numbers 1 through 120 each one denoting a month in your repayment schedule and leave these default values as linear and click OK. And now when you do that, you'll see that here you'll have all these numbers pre-filled for you all the way till 120. And you can go back. And now you can just fill in the monthly payments. You can just equal C C5, press enter. And let me just press equals C10. And now I can just double click this fill handle and have this get copied all the way to the bottom. I'm just doing control down arrow to see the very last repayment in the 120th month, which is at the end of the 10 years. And now you can compute your effective monthly interest rate by using the IRR function. This is just to verify that you've done the computation correctly. And for your IRR, you select your entire range of values, press the first one, C9, and then press Control Shift Down Arrow. That is Control Shift Down Arrow. And that'll select the entire range. And you can just press a guess of 0.1 if you want. And press Enter. And you have the monthly interest rate of 60.67%, which is exactly the same as the amount we calculated here. And your effective annual interest rate is this times 12, which is 8%, which is exactly what we started out with. So that's a brief overview of how you would go about computing your monthly payments for a mortgage loan repayment. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.